Okay, so what we are going to be doing today is we are going to be making Clint from Stardew Valley, continuing the legacy of making all the Stardew characters. So let's begin. We could start with this sim. I was gonna say randomize a couple of times, but he already kind of looks like a Clint. This is perfect. Okay, I'm gonna take everything off, but I might keep the beard on because he does have a, a beard. I don't think I have any like custom content. Oh wait, I have like these. Oh, I don't know. Okay, maybe I'll take everything off for now. So I think he has quite a wide face. He does look like he has quite big cheeks as well. And see, kind of like near his eyes, they are quite round. I'm gonna make his eyes bigger as well, just like any Sims character, or sorry, any Stardew character. They all seem to have massive eyes. Um, I don't think his nose is particularly that shape. I think it's more of like a, a rounded nose. I'm kind of thinking something like this. We could maybe go for a little bit bigger. Maybe more like this. Or is that too big? I want him to have a really round nose. And his lips are definitely quite close to his nose because he only has like a tiny little bit of room for his mustache. So maybe we could do something like that. He doesn't really have like a chiseled jaw. So I do want to make his jawline a bit bigger. Like you can only see like the tiniest little bit of bottom lip on his mouth. So maybe I'll make his bottom lip a little bit bigger. But like overall, it's just beard. I feel like I kind of want his nose to not be as pointy. Oh no, I just... <laughs> Oops, I made it even pointier. I kind of want it to be like more down. Yeah, I don't want to see his nostrils. I want his nostrils to be like as, as low down as possible. Okay, yeah, maybe something like this. I think I'm instantly going to change his eyebrows because I feel like the eyebrows are definitely one of the main aspects of the face and it's easy to change a face by just changing the eyebrows. Now his eyebrows are tiny. They're very far apart. So to begin with, we have to do something like that to his face. But also they're quite chunky, but really small. They're like something like this, I would say. Okay, I think I might make his eyebrows kind of like this and I think these eyebrows are thick enough as well because obviously he's quite a hairy boy he's hairy man and now looking at his hair he is actually kind of more on the red hair side like gingery so maybe his eyebrows should also have like a gingery undertone I think the shape of his eyes is pretty much okay it's it's a very oval kind of shape and he has blue eyes so let's change that straight away we could even do something along the lines of this or what about Oh, that's a bit too much, actually. I like to make my eyes quite realistic. So whichever... Oh, yeah. Whichever realistic ones I find. I, oh! Okay, I think I need to bring his eyebrows down a bit. But I don't want them to be as angry. I want them to be not very angry. I think I might make his eyes like this. Because as a character that likes to spend a lot of his time alone. And he, he gets quite anxious when he sees Emily. Because obviously he's secretly in love with her. I feel like he would have quite hopeful and calm eyes. But like... With his eyebrows, there is a little bit of worry in them. So maybe we should do something like this. He's kind of like chill, a little bit worried, but also happy because he's not a malicious character by any means, you know? Do you think he'll have a butt chin? I think he would have a butt chin. Even though you can't see it, I'm giving him a butt chin because I think he, I think he would have a butt chin. Those are the eyes of Clint. I think we've got them pretty spot on. I kind of wish his nose was a little bit more like, like roundier at the top. I, I don't understand how I meant to make it any bit rounder without making it too big. Although he does look quite cute though, doesn't he? I think what I might do next is I might actually add some skin details because we obviously can't see his like bottom half of the face because of his beard. So I think we should focus on adding skin details. I don't actually know much about him. He likes, what does he like? He likes um risotto. He likes gold bars, geodes, that's fine. He also likes, he likes mayonnaise, apples, apricots. He likes beer, okay. That gives us something. So maybe he likes to have a little, a little quiet pint on his own. Because he, it does say that he's quite a lonesome character. He likes to spend his time away from the villagers. That's not a bad thing. He maybe is just a little bit anxious about seeing other people. So he likes to put his, like, energy out into his craft. And since he's a blacksmith, he probably spends a lot of time in front of the fire. You know, making blacksmithy things, you know. Talking about the storyline, I think that since he likes to sit in his little blacksmith office, his little shed, his little area. He probably, oh my God, he looks scary with that skin detail. Um, He probably has quite a lot of skin, you know, marks on his face because when you work a lot in heat, you're probably squinting your eyes. Maybe you get a few little freckles around, you know. Your skin definitely has different types of marks than you would, you know, if you, if you don't spend your time in front of the fire. So definitely some like maybe little freckles. 
and you know little blemishes like a few little bags under his eyes maybe something like this actually oh yes i'm definitely gonna give him these these little freckles on his cheeks they would definitely form over time he looks way too young for me i think he needs like more details to make him look like he's older well, he's not like old, old, but I think he definitely needs to have more like bags under his eyes and stuff. Yeah, he would have bags under his eyes because like, you know, he stays up. Maybe he has a beer on his own. He doesn't mind being on his own. He's just a little bit anxious. So maybe he just has like a few little bags under his eyes. I don't know. <laughs> I think I might give him this skin as well. I'm sorry. I keep using the exact same skin, but I just think it works. I'm happy enough with the bags. I know they're very dramatic, the bags under his eyes, but I think he does need to have something like that. I want to give him freckles, but like I like these kind of marks that he has on his face. Maybe we could go with the darker ones. Maybe like that. Or maybe some blemishes. I think he maybe could have blemishes on his face. What if I put maybe like his little glow to the face? Because yes. Because imagine being so warm. Making like your little um, blacksmith sculptures. And like your little crafting things. Like you'd be pretty warm. So he does need to have like a glow on his skin. So maybe something like that is quite cool. Um, that one's glitching a bit. Maybe this one. Maybe he does have a lot of glow. Because he's just, you know, it's not like necessarily sweat. But it's just like, it's warm in there. It's natural face oil. I think he would also have eyelashes. Because people with that amount of beard hair, they definitely would be hairy. You know? They just would. I think I'm going to give him beard next. And I'm kind of scared because this is going to ruin everything. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do because I don't actually have many beards. I'm kind of wanting to give him this beard just purely because I know it's not the same one, but this one actually makes sense because you can't see his, you know, you can't see his little mouth. Because if I do go for just this one, that it, it's just, it looks gross. Plus the colors are just not what I want them to be. And then these ones are just not strong enough. So I feel like I should give him this one. I know it's not necessarily right. Like the, the two little top pieces shouldn't be there. But look, we, we've got to work with what we have. I think this beard makes a lot of sense. And it just kind of looks like him already. But now that his beard is on, you see, I kind of want to make his cheeks a little bit bigger i just feel like you can see that little bit of roundness on his cheek and then maybe his nose if i bring it down a bit more yeah actually that nose is pretty much perfect to be fair i just wanted it to be brought down a bit more so it's like in his little beard because that's kind of what it looks like in the picture it's like his beard is coming out of his little nose so definitely something like this i need to make sure that up here by his eyebrows is as wide as possible so i am going to make this a bit wider so he does seem to have a lot of space up there and then yeah i think his eyebrows make sense like this oh my god we're getting there should i put on some hair next i like to use these hairs here will i be able to find the right type of hair so his hair is quite long i'm kind of thinking hear me out let's just go through a few i'm kind of thinking Something like this. But would I, would I be able to find the right shade? <laughs> oh god. Um, maybe this hair actually. Because it's a little bit more messier. I feel like he'd be the type of person that like, you know. It's not like he doesn't care about his personal appearance. But he thinks that his craft is more important. So maybe he just doesn't really mind about how he looks. Ooh, what about this hair? Oh, why do I kind of like the idea of giving him something like this and making him just really like, he's just caught up in his work. He loves being a blacksmith so much that like he, he, he doesn't mind that he has a little bit of burn from like a little bit of spark going on. Like he doesn't mind that his hair is a little bit messed up and roughed up. He doesn't care to go out to socialize with people because his art is the most important thing. And he loves that. But also he still likes to, you know, swoosh back his hair so that if Emily does see him make sure he looks cute because he is into Emily and we need to you know keep that in mind so maybe hair like this would be quite nice okay I think I might make his lips like a darker shade I think he's also like obviously he's quite warm when he's doing all his little blacksmith things maybe because he gets a bit warm he has a little bit of tint to his lips you know when you get warm your lips go more red than usual. I'm kind of thinking, you know, that is what's happening to him. And looking at the picture, I did make him look quite young. Maybe I'll just change his eyes once more. Because I do have the tendencies to change eyes about a hundred times. Maybe I want to give him one of my favorite eyes. Like maybe something like this. <gasps> maybe something like this instead. Or what about these ones? Mm, 
oh god i'm kind of thinking maybe these eyes they do add to a little bit more of like mystery to him so maybe i'll add these ones instead yeah okay i've just changed my mind and i think these are more of a deep blue right let's give him an outfit and then i think he should be pretty much ready okay i think we are fully finished clint from stardew in the sims well you can't say i didn't do it because i did i've tried my very best i think he looks pretty cute i think he has a pretty sweet charm to him yeah i think he is actually a pretty um attractive version of clint i didn't expect him to work out like this i was so scared i was gonna make him look like a dodgy dodgy man i like the way he turned Turned out and I think we did a pretty good job making him look cute and snazzy and hot. <laughs> Clint Daddy! <laughs> He's like, you want your axe upgraded? Well, come in, in here. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, but that's it. <laughs> I apologize for everything. <laughs>